Hey there traders, welcome back to today's Outlier Live. My name is Christopher Yule and I love talking about stocks and finding those outlier trades with outsized returns. And if you're interested in that too, be sure to definitely hit the subscribe button down below. And today's episode is sponsored by outlier.com. Go to ovtlyr.com to find out why outliers win. Now our top story of the day, big US banks are reportedly trying to dump commercial real estate loans, but buyers are scarce as pressures mount for property markets. Let's break this down. There are a lot of issues to discuss here. First off, um, the fact that COVID has changed everything really is where we need to start, right? The work from home revolution is here. Um, people don't want to go back into the office, right? Can you blame them when they can sit at home, work autonomously instead of sitting in the office with a, a boss staring down their back, right? Nobody actually wants to work in an office anymore. But the problem with that is there is billions and billions and billions of dollars in commercial real estate that still exists as open loans out there for a lot of developers and a lot of banks. And now these banks are trying to dump that sector, right? They're trying to get out of this. They're trying to say, hey, we don't want this anymore. Big banks are trying to dump commercial real estate loans as pressures mount on the sector. Think about it this way, right? If I'm a bank and you're a bank, and I've decided to take $5 billion in commercial real estate loans out, and you're looking at me with no commercial real estate loans, are you actually interested in what I have to sell you? Probably not. But if you were, the only way that I'd be able to sell it to you, especially in, in a, a business environment that looks like these loans are just not going to have the value that they once did, is I have to take massive write downs. I have to take huge losses. I have to probably sell it to you for 70, 60, 50 cents on the dollar, which is gonna be really bad for me. <clears throat> That's gonna be really bad for me as I'm holding on to this debt. Banks could be willing to sell property loans at a huge discount as troubles mount in the sector, but some are hesitant to sell off commercial real estate debt as at too low of a price, right? It's kind of like buying a stock and then watching it go down, but you don't want to sell because it's just gonna, you know, this is probably gonna be the bottom, I hope, I promise, I, I really think it might be. But they're hesitant to sell it off because that could reignite fears of banking troubles. And as a result, many banks are choosing to hold on to the debt while they seek better offers. Now, I don't know how many offers that they're going to get. Like I say, the, the environment's changed. The market has changed. And these banks, they don't want to admit it. And they certainly don't want to get rid of these loans if they have to take 50% write-offs, maybe as low as that on each one that they have. It says there's about one and a half trillion dollars of commercial real estate debt that's set to be refinanced over the next three years. That's a big problem because much of this would run into trouble as rates stay elevated and property valuations decline. Let's think about this for a second, right? Rates have gone up tremendously, but if you have to refinance that debt, let's say you got that commercial real estate debt at three and a half percent, now rates are closer to 7%. You, as the real estate developer, you may not even be able to pay back that loan. We've more than doubled, some places have tripled interest rates. And if I have to pay back the asset at three times as much um, interest as I was paying before, and I have way less tenants, when I have way less people helping me pay the banks, pay, pay their rents, we got a problem. We got a huge, huge, huge problem. So what are they gonna do? I'm not exactly sure. Rudes, good morning, thank you to you. April, good morning. Tackle Trading, good morning, good to see you. Jack, good morning. Tom, good morning, glad to see you all here live. Yeah, we have a huge problem in the real estate sector, and especially in commercial real estate, right? And looking at the outlier data for JPM, that was one of the banks that was mentioned in here, we can see we got a sell signal back in June 26th. And while the market may have marched forward a little bit, we're actually running into right here what is called a downside indicator. So if you're still holding JPM, um, now may be a good time to uh, to take those profits and move on because we're getting a big warning light. And these warning lights can be followed by huge downside indicators right afterwards. So taking a look at the JP Morgan stock price, yeah, it's gone up, it's hit a wall and it's coming back down and it looks like it may be coming down really, really fast. So if you're interested in learning more about that, definitely go check out outlier.com to get access to this data. But yeah, big US banks, we got a huge problem here. And let's see what the comments are saying, right? But they said no signs of recession. 
That's what the comments are out there saying. Um, let's let commercial real estate be turned into residential housing. Hey, kill two birds with one so one uh, kill two birds with one so one stone. Problem solved. Uh, this is a big deal. Yeah, this is a huge deal out there. Brian, good to see you. Good morning. So I don't know where the where the uh, big banks are going to be selling this off to. And at the end of the day, that's kind of the question being asked here is, if we have these huge problems, who's going to be stuck with the debt? What about the regional banks? They're having the same problem, Brian. Absolutely, without a doubt, they're having the same problem.